Howdy, this is Doug at Red Chip Poker, and I wanted to answer the question on the forums about aces versus ace-king or king-king. So the question was, at a full ring game of 10 players, if you hold ace-king, how often will someone have aces? Or if you hold kings and you want to know how often will someone have aces? And the truth is, it really doesn't matter. It is possible, it's rare, and it seems to happen a lot more than you think it would, and that's because pretty much every time it's kings versus aces, it gets mostly all in pre-flop and then the rest of it gets in on the flop in most games. And so every time it happens, you see it. And so that makes us think it happens a lot more than it actually does. Uh, the next thing is, even if I were to tell you, you know, it's one in a hundred, one in a thousand, there's not any real strategic thing that you can do about it anyway. So what's more important is when these kinds of setups happen, inevitably there should be a raise and probably a three bet. And then you ask yourself, how often would this player three bet with certain hands like ace king or kings or aces or whatever it is and that kind of consideration is going to be much more calculable because it's just a smaller set of hands and it's numbers that are much more understandable and useful so instead of asking these kinds of theoretical questions i would ask more when i've got kings and the nitty guy at the end of the table raise, does a three bet for the first time that you've ever seen after playing with him for months, he's probably got aces. It doesn't matter if it's one in a thousand, one in ten thousand, that's what he's got. Now, if this is some guy that is a drunk and three bets all the time, he probably doesn't have aces. So I would focus on those questions, not on the bigger theoreticals. If you like this kind of thing, stop by Red Chip Poker Forums. Thanks.